what is going on everybody we're back with another video and i'm just here to talk about basically what happened over the weekend the impossible has been achieved it's finally happened my boy jubei is going to be coming in blaze blue central fiction my god it's, it feels like it was just yesterday where i was like there's no way there's no possible way that they're going to be concluding jubei well like a lot of people are like, okay, he's too short. Uh, some, some think like he, it's just not possible because we were all thinking maybe he would come out in CPEX um, because Alanda and, and Celica came out. All right, maybe Jubei's in. He wasn't in. Central Fiction came out. We saw the nine um, reveal, and then we're like, okay, Jubei has to come into Central Fiction. He wasn't in Central Fiction. So at this point, we're just like losing hope and hope and just like just getting very discouraged as to why Jubei wasn't there and then finally they hit us with the big bomb the freaking atomic crazy announcement Jubei is now in the game now a lot of people aren't as hyped as others I'm personally very hyped about it because it seems like it was just uh, it, and it's funny because there was really no concrete evidence that he wasn't going to be in central fiction but we were all thinking all right, he's not going to be in. It's just not possible. There's other characters, blah, 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 blah. But then, you know, like, we kind of put ourselves in this trench where it's like, okay, it's not possible for Jubei to be in the game. Well, this weekend, that was it. Jubei was finally uh, revealed for uh, Central Fiction. Let's take a look at the uh, trailer real quick. I already saw it, but let's take a look at it. We're going to be kind of breaking down how Jubei is going to be playing and how he is going to be. Okay, so I just want to go over that for the most part. Kind of a gameplay uh, trailer breakdown. Now, when gameplay, more gameplay suffices for Jubei, I'll be doing another video as well. Uh, going over his, everything that he has. But for the most part, we're going to be dissecting mostly his trailer to see what he's got in store. What we can pull out from that from that video and see what he's going to have in Blades of Central Fiction. So, crazy how he's actually out, right? It just it still blows my mind. I still I'm still processing the fact that he's in all right so let's actually take a look at this real quick um maybe i should turn it down just a smidge because i don't think you'll be able to hear me but crazy man at this point in the uh at, at evo i was bugging the hell out let me tell you guys this i was bugging out i could not believe my eyes and then of course the dynamic music kind of changed it all for me there's the sick portrait art or just like the art of Jubei and I'm just like freaking out at this point. He's finally in the game. Look at this. This is so sick first of all. Let's just see this uh, trailer if you guys haven't seen it already. Just in full fledged motion. He's going to be a mixture of probably Tao Kaka and uh, just his own version of a, a, a sword a sword style. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's going to be like only C moves are going to be sword moves or... If it's gonna be like rapid, like double, like double moves, kind of like Tsubaki and Hibiki, something similar to that. We'll see what happens. And then they tease his uh, <laughs> his astral here, and they don't show it off. So we're not, we don't know what his astral astral looks like. So, but we're about to find out. So this trailer was freaking nuts. I love it. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much uh, Jubei's trailer. It's a very short teaser that they brought out. Reveal, of course. And it's coming out summer 2017, which I am hoping that it'll be sometime very soon uh, in the summer, like in August, something like that. I know that the patch notes, the patch for Blaze with Central Fiction is coming out on the 3rd of August. So maybe Jubei is going to be out on the 3rd of August. We'll see. So let's actually go over this uh, trailer really, really, uh, really quick. Okay. First of all, let's take a look at his size. Okay. The side, well, first of all, the stage. Look at this beautiful stage. Can we just take a look at this beautiful stage? This stage is gorgeous, okay? I really do love uh, the stage. I really hope it's going to be a net play stage. That is a big thing, big factor in uh, stages in Blaze Blue, is that if it's a net play stage or not. I'm not sure if this is going to be because there's a bunch of crap going on in the screen behind us, especially those candles if they are moving. Um, or if there's anything that's moving motion wise. If usually if that's the case, it's not gonna be a net play stage. Which I'd be really sad because I the stage looks gorgeous, fantastic, amazing. Jubei stage is awesome. So yeah. Um but let's get it into the actual gameplay. First of all, his portrait. Let's just take a look at his portrait and just like bathe into the the thing that the greatness that is his is his art. 
It's it's so sick. I love how he's carrying the uh, the sword in his mouth and everything like that. It seems like uh, he it, it's like a double sword. It's like one sword or a double sword. Uh, if we take a look at it in the if we take a look at the astral, like we'll see like two swords come out of each each side. I don't know if it splits into two swords. Whatever. I don't know the lore behind it. I just know that this this dude is like the greatest swordsman that has ever lived. So and he's a cat, which is badass. <laughs> I even I don't even like cats, but I like Jubei a lot. So all right, let's start off with what he shows us off in the beginning. Seems that. All right, so he used. Oh wow, that's his tail. That's his tail. So he uses his tail to use uh, swords, and he swipes with his right hand as well. Um, he has. A, so it seems like he has a fireball of some sort. Fireball. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be range dependent or if it homes. It could be one of two things, okay? It could either home on the opponent or it could be uh, kind of like uh, depending on which button that you press, it'll be the range of the button. So, for example, you'll have like core circle forward A will be right in front of him. Core circle B is right in, uh, in the middle. Core circle C is uh, far away. It might be something similar to that. We'll see. Or if it's just a closed range fireball. Who knows? Um, but for the most part, he does have a some sort of a fireball. Okay. All right. Then we get introduced to this special move here. I'm guessing this is going to be like a, a 2C move right here. You see him lunging up in the air, um, which I'm guessing is either going to be a 6B or a 2C. He was, looks like that is his crouching animation, by the way. Well, let me see if I can get the just the right. I should have the that one extension. There's this one extension where I can go slow motion or fast forward and kind of like go frame by frame. Oh man, I, I wish I could get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. There it is, right there. So this is his crouching animation from what it looks like. Um, either that or that's the startup of a 6B or a 2C move, so he can anti-air in the air. So he's from what it looks like, he's gonna have a really good anti-air. Um, there it is right there and then he can cancel it into uh, some uh, a special move seems like that's going to be <laughs> one of his staple like uh, staple uh, special moves right here where he slashes uh, with his sword and his claws so there's right there it seems like you can follow up but we'll see we, we don't see too much footage this is just very teaser heavy oh my god was that a dodge kind of similar to Tao I think it was so let's let's take a look at that. We go there. Seems like he does have some sort of dodge similar to maybe Carl or Tao. Tao has something similar as well where she goes right behind you. I think it has some uh, in invincibility as well. So, all right. So it seems like he's going to be a very movement heavy character as well, just like Tao. And he's going to have movement option, command movement options uh, like Tao. Um, I don't know if he's going to have moves out of these command movements. We are, we're, uh, we just have to wait and find out. So there's that. Um, then he goes in for some kills. 5B, 5C is what I'm wondering, what I'm guessing. And, ooh, what the hell? Hold on a minute. Give me a minute. What was that? Seems that he has some sort of guard point slash counter moves where he goes into this glowing state. Let's see if we can go here. He goes into this glowing state and... Anytime you hit him, I don't know if it's for lows in particular. I know that Jin is doing his um, 2C. Uh, so I don't know if it's like completely from head to toe. He has that guard point or if it's just for lows uh, in, 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 in general. And then after that, he goes uh, to the other side. Or no, he just retaliates with a move. Kind of similar to how Mai's works. So she has a guard point where you go 5B, 5B with Mai. Or 5B, yeah, 5B or 4, 5B, 4B. And she sticks up her knee in the air and it has a guard point where she pay, she kind of like, um, she doesn't take any damage, but it just like cancels out the move. So he probably has something similar to that. Um, also, what I'm guessing, ooh, there we go. All right. So air mobility, just like Tao. Look at that. My God. Yeah, this, this character is going to be nuts. I'm going to tell you that right now, this character is going to be insane because he's going to have crazy mobility moves just like Tao has, but he's going to have like crazy damage and he's going to have a um, crazy combo game. Uh, BNBs. So that seems to be his, his thing right there. Ooh, okay. You know from what I saw right there? I don't know if he has a, a stance. A stance where he can go into his super, 
because he has this cat stance that I just barely saw. Like Again, this is all speculation, all from the trailer. This could be completely different from what we're actually going to get from Jubei. But for the most part, from what I'm seeing, that he might have a stance... No, it's not a stance. Definitely not a stance. Nope, nope. I was 100% wrong. Don't even listen to me. I thought it was going to be, but I think it's just that's just the startup of his uh, super move. Go like that. And then he goes into... Seems that that is going to be... He's going to have uh, something similar to how Tao has um, and how uh, most characters have where they go into this... They have this super move where they go into a form where they go nuts. Where they go crazy. And I think that's going to be happening. Oh, my God. I don't know how these works. I think that's what happens when he goes into that form. If not, I don't know if that's going to be because the, the, these things weren't there. See, they're not there beforehand. So he didn't put them up beforehand. So that means that he has either that specific form that he went into gets those talent and gets those uh, bumpers up uh Gets those bumpers there, and he has he unlocks the, the the moves where he gets the bumpers, or something like that. Or that's just a regular special move. Doesn't seem like he's in overdrive right now, so I would think that would be another case too. Um, but that's a crazy freaking move. That's a cr crazy, crazy move. All right, what else do we got here? All right. My God, he's gonna have like a flurry of attacks. So it seems like because he has like attacks that have multiple hits in them he might not have as much damage as i would think he would have because usually with characters that have multi-hitting moves such as tau such as um my god what's uh what's the name what's the name um i keep forgetting the name now but anyways anybody that has like multi-hitting moves that are really really quick kind of like uh tau in particular they're not gonna have too much damage not too much of damage output, but we'll see. I could be completely wrong. Hopefully, that's not the case. Hopefully, he'll be a, like a really well-rounded character and, and such. Oh, this is his overdrive. Oh, this is Exceed Excel. I'm sorry. Exceed Excel. Looks pretty sweet. And then this is the Astro animation. That's freaking sick. Let me tell you something right now. That's pretty dope where he has the mask. He goes nuts. I can't wait to see his actual Astro in motion. Um... Let me actually take a look at this real quick. So that's his Exceed Excel, of course. That's a super that he's got. Follow-ups. I don't know if those slashes are going to be his drive. I'm not really certain, like, anything that I've seen is his drive. Other than maybe his teleports, like, just his movement options is his drive. Or if those slashes are his drive. Who knows? Who knows? I really haven't seen anything that stands out. As this is pose as he's doing a overdrive, which is actually really, really, really cool. <laughs> it's pretty dope. Uh, I think he's adorable. Look at him. He's just the right side. Wait a minute. Do you see this tag? Hold on a minute. I don't know if you see that tag. What does that tag do? I wonder. Interesting. Now I'm wondering. Let's go back and see if there's any other situation where he has a tag on him. So it seems like he can leave a tag of some sort on yeah you see Hakuman has the tag interesting that interesting that oh my gosh I'm not sure what that tag actually does let me go actually go back and see if there's any other situation where he has a tag okay that's just regular regular stuff so it seems like his dashes aren't affected by a tag I don't see a tag at all but that tag will have some sort of prevalence somewhere. He leaves you um, with some sort of tag, and I'm not 100% sure of what that tag does. Uh, it seems like it's just the universal, just one tag on you. It's not like Azra where it has a high-low tag. But I'm not 100% sure of what that does, really. So, yeah, you see right there how that specific move left them tagged. So, um, maybe there's specific things that can maybe home on on the on the player i don't know maybe he has certain moves that he can only like if he does like if he leaves you tagged and he does like some sort of move it'll home in on on hakuman or like just the character that's tagged interesting that i'm gonna have some sort of tag system there you go so there's that and it seems like in overdrive you just get tagged 
no matter what. Or let's find out. Uh, maybe not. I'm trying to see if there's like a before and after when Teremi in particular gets tagged before the overdrive even happens. But the video is not letting me. Yeah, no, no. He is definitely tagged beforehand. But I'm not 100% sure what it does. So hopefully we'll get to find that in the future. What that does. Let's see. Let's watch a little bit more. Maybe it'll show us a little bit more later. Right here. Oh, hold on. He goes into overdrive here. So I wonder if that leaves you tagged. Regardless. No, it doesn't. Okay. Alright, it doesn't leave us. Doesn't say anything else, really. Doesn't say anything else, really. But he does have some interesting mechanics to him. In regards to... Yeah, you see that right there? I really want to know what that does. If that is his drive moves, where it is drive moves where he leaves you tagged. And I'm not 100% sure what that does. But uh, that's pretty much it for like the Jubei trailer. Uh, that's all what they've given us. So hopefully they'll be releasing more footage in the future. Maybe a gameplay breakdown. Or maybe they'll just be like, okay, you guys got to wait till the third. And then you guys will have them. So go crazy. No, I'm pretty sure they'll have some sort of video gameplay breakdown explanation of what's going on. Maybe they'll have the voice actor on there being like, yeah, uh, I'm Jubei. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, that's pretty much Jubei. It seems like he's going to be a very rushed down heavy character. Um, not not doing too much damage as well. I just don't feel like he's going to be doing too much damage. And people were really wondering about his hurt box because of how tall he is. Who gives a crap of what the actual lore says if he's 62 inches and then someone else is like 152, not inches, freaking centimeters, whatever, you, you freaking metric system. Um, <laughs> doesn't matter at all about the hurt box. They'll somehow fit him in gameplay wise. Doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. As long as he's battle ready, he's going to be fine. So I don't think... Maybe there's going to be some hurt box differences, but for the most part, he I think he's going to be fine. He's not going to be broken in, the, in that sense. So we're not going to have a Soul Calibur 4 Yoda in here. You know what I mean? Where, like, nothing hits him. So Jubei looks like to be a very rushed down heavy character um, that has a very interesting tag system that we don't know about just yet. Um, he's going to be very movement heavy. Not going to be doing too much damage. Uh, I'm guessing he's going to be mixed up heavy as well because he has got those dashes and such. Kind of like Tao is. Um, he might have fuzzy guards as well, so we'll see what happens because of how short he is. He might have fuzzy guards. Maybe he'll have loops like Cpex Tau. That would be ridiculous. But for the most part, he looks like a lot of fun, and I'm excited to play him and excited to see what he has in, in store. You know what I mean? So hopefully, we'll hear more news on Jubei. As soon as that happens, I'll be hitting you guys up, making sure that you guys stay updated on Blaze Blue Central Fiction. My God, we've done it. We got, finally got Jubei as a DLC character, and we're getting patch notes as well. It's like a dream come true, really. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys that have any questions about anything that's going to be, you know, going to be going on, hit me up on Twitter. That's where you're going to be finding me. Uh, I don't really answer too many YouTube questions, so if you do have a personal question or just any question about Blaze Moon in general, hit me up on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, and all that good stuff. As always, if there's anything that's going to be happening in the world of Blaze Blue, I'm going to be covering it and uh, going to be bringing you guys the news as fast as possible, trying to make you guys understand like the world of Blaze Blue. Any new beginners out there as well, you're more than welcome to ask your questions as well. So we'll see you guys in the next video if there's any more news. I'm Jubei. We'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.